guys, Jeff here. And today I'm gonna to do a little comparison. About a year ago, I got the meter uh, temperature probe and I've really liked it, used it a lot, um, lots of great features. Um, I was recently contacted by uh, the makers of the Meat Stick, which is a very comparable um, thermometer to the, meat, the, the meter. I'm gonna get those two confused, the Meat Stick and the meter. And they asked me if I'd be willing to do a review on these. So today I'm gonna do a comparison between the Meat Stick and the meter uh, temperature probes. And um, even though they did supply this to me, I'm gonna do an unbiased, unvarnished review of the two, and let's see which one reigns supreme. So to start off, um, I'm gonna take it out of the box. And the first thing I notice is the difference in the um, packaging, not the packaging, but the presentation. The meter has a bamboo um, base for the probe and the meat stick is a plastic one. So I can say that um, I do like the meter one because of the bamboo, it's, it's a little bit nicer. Um, these are both about the same price, uh, about $99, and I think either way it's well worth it. Um, and I'll link to both of these in the description. You can decide which one makes more sense for you. The meter does have a lot more reviews. I think on Amazon it's got around 14,000 reviews. It's a little over four stars. And the meat stick I think has like 1,500 reviews and it's just a hair below four stars. So, but let's see which one um, does the best. So first thing I'm gonna do, I've got a tri-tip here that I'm gonna smoke. I'm gonna smoke it at 225 and I'm gonna get it to about um, 125 degrees. Then I'm gonna sear it in a cast iron pan. So basically it's gonna be a reverse sear. So it's really important on a reverse sear that you don't overcook it um, on the smoker because then when you put it and sear it, you'll, it'll be overdone. So I wanna make sure that um, I pull these off the smoker um, right at um, 125. So I'm gonna put that one in. I'm gonna put these in very similar spots so I can compare them. So there's that one. So I'm gonna insert this one, the meat stick, up to that probe. So they're pretty close together and uh, they should give me very similar readings. Let's go throw these on the smoker and uh, we'll get started. With my Traeger smoker set to 225 degrees, it took about two hours to cook this tri-tip. I'm gonna show you some numbers from the two different probes throughout the smoke. After downloading the apps, for both of the probes. The setup is really easy. On the meter, you just choose the type of meat and then um, they have a list of different um, cuts. The tri-tip wasn't there, so I just had to put in a custom one. Uh, you just enter the name and then you set the temperature that you want it to reach and then you just hit start cook and that's all there is to it. It shows you that you need to insert the temperature probe up to the line and then you can see the numbers at the beginning of the cook, the internal temperature, the target, and the ambient temperature inside the smoker. So on the meat stick, um, I had to set it up, pick the, the type of probe. I have the meat stick X. And so I select that, and then it walks you through the initial setup menu to pair the probe with the base. And then you go ahead and you start uh, setting up your cook. I found that the setup on both of the probes was equally as easy. I think that the meat stick has a little better interface, um, had more selections. The tri-tip was included in the, their selections. So I just selected tri-tip. It um, gives you recommendations. You can set it to wherever you want because I'm doing a reverse sear. I set my target temperature to 125 and the ambient temperature to 225. And then I just started the cook. Something that the meat stick had that the meter doesn't is you can set alerts for uh, um, low and high temperatures. So I don't know if you've ever had this situation where your smoker shuts off in the middle of the cook or maybe you have a flame up or a flare up and it, and it gets real hot. Well, you can set the meat stick to alert you if that happens. And so that's kind of a nice feature. Although I did find on both probes that the amperture, ambient temperature was not very accurate. And so I'm not sure how um, valuable this information would be, but the early warning and the target warning temperature settings are really nice. 
once you have your cook all set up, it gives you similar readings to what um, the meter probe shows. It shows you your target temperature, your current temperature, the ambient temperature, how long the, your uh, cook has been going. So it gives you pretty much the same information. The meter claims a range of 165 feet and the meat stick claims a range of 260 feet. And what I found is that neither of them reach nearly this far. But the meat stick definitely reached farther than the meter. So I walked um, through my house, out the front door, and across the street. And I would say that the meter lost its uh, connection at about uh, maybe 50 or 60 feet. And the meat stick was about double that, probably about 100 feet. So um, the meat, meat stick definitely has a little bit better range in my testing, uh, but neither of them is nearly what they claim. Here's a screen capture of my phone, and I want to show you the different temperatures and what I found. So this is the Traeger app and the probe that connects to the Traeger. Um, I use that kind of as a baseline. And here you can see the meat stick app. Now this is nearing the end of the smoke. And you can see that the meat stick is showing the internal temperature of the meat at 126, where the Traeger was showing it at 130. Now here's the meter app, and it's showing the internal temperature at 120. I found that throughout the smoke, the meter app registered about 8 to 10 degrees lower than the Traeger and the meat stick app. The meat stick app and the Traeger app were within a couple of degrees of each other. So it made me question the accuracy of the meter. So because I was getting different readings, I tried checking the internal temperature with my thermopen, and it was closer to the readings that I was getting on the meter. So uh, bottom line is I use four different, very accurate, you know, high quality probes, and the temperature ranged about seven or eight degrees throughout the cook. And so you just kind of take what you've got and go with that. So I took the tri-tip off of the smoker when the internal temperature was 125 on the lower end with the thermal pen and the meter, and about 130 with the um, meat stick and the Traeger probes. So I just uh, used some oil and uh, olive oil and butter. I like to use a combination of the two because it helps the butter to not burn. And I just seared on all the sides until my temperature reading was about 133, you can see on the meat stick, and 129 on the meter. So still about four degrees off, but pretty close. You can see um, on the ends, it was cooked a little bit more than um, the medium rare. But as I got into the middle, I feel like it was pretty accurate. I feel like the two probes that were showing the higher readings, the Traeger and the meat stick, were probably a little more accurate because this looks more like it's cooked to 135 or 140 versus where the meter was telling me it was you know, 130. That definitely looks more cooked than 130. So Lisa and I love tacos, so that's how we ate th this tri-tip. Uh, but we got enough to last us through the week, so we'll probably try it on some different things. But it was really good, really juicy, um, I think cooked really well, maybe just a little bit more than medium rare, which is what it was uh, the probes were giving me. So all in all, you really can't go wrong with either of these probes. They both have great features. They're both similar priced. And really, either one of them is going to serve you well. I think that I like the uh, user interface on the app for the meat stick a little bit better than the meter, but they're both, you know, really easy to use. The range on the meat stick is probably a little bit better than the meter, at least in my case. I would give the edge to the meat stick. The only thing I really like better about the meter is the base, the bamboo base. I think that's just a little bit nicer. But hopefully you um, got something out of this video. I'd highly recommend either one of these and uh, happy smoking.